bitches and bros and non-binary hoes. Us doing our like thing. Wow. Life <laughs> updates for anyone who hasn't heard. I have dropped out of university. And it was announced in such a lovely way in a Sherlock cosplay doing a K-pop dance. <laughs> I don't know how to speak. This is a good choice for you. This is It's a great yeah. choice because it means that I can film loads more YouTube videos. I have been absolutely dragged into the depths of Moriarty the Patriot and that is a hyperfixation that doesn't seem like it's ending anytime soon. My whole brain is surely I need help. Life update over. We're doing pretty well. We're moving in together. We are We're moving in together. <laughs> we announced this on the tickle dockle um, a few months ago, but we've we've like put down a deposit. Oh, sorry, I can't first feel department. happy about this because you keep calling it tickle dockles. Can you rephrase tickle it? Tickle dockles. No. Tickle dockles. No. We haven't announced it here, so we're moving in together, and we're moving in together in September. September the second. Expect many other videos from that point. And I won't have yeah. a job, so I'm gonna be doing this a lot. This could be it job. might be monetized. We are going to discuss some of our chaotic slash favorite moments from conventions that we have been to. Because when we first started filming YouTube videos, it was like not that long ago, like nine months ago or something. But we'd only been to like one or two conventions. Now we have been to several more and many more things have happened and we want to talk about them. Damn right we do. So the first convention we- <laughs> The first convention we ever went to together was MCM London mm. in 2021. Mm. And we booked a train down, but the train was cancelled while we were stood on the platform. And several more after that. The it was all day. gone. All gone! All gone! All gone. <laughs> I remembered I have a car and it's about two, three hours to drive down to London. I'd only passed my test a couple of months oh. before. Yeah, I'd only passed my test a couple of months before, so that was like a bit much. Here we go. Reliant Robin. <laughs> kind of off the platform not like off the platform but we're running away from <laughs> see this well, person i see this person on our way out and i'm like whoa i take a look at their backpack fucking all my everywhere show to turn around get everywhere i was like surely if you're getting the tr or supposedly wanting to get the train to london where we were going for an anime convention and your backpack is swamped with my hero academia you seem like one of us, one of them no, queers. One of them. <laughs> she actually wasn't. I was just like, yo, were you gonna go to the convention? And they were like, yeah, guess I can't now. And we were like, well, lucky for you, we're driving down. Do you want to get in our, our car? Straight trust the car. me, trust me, you have no reason. The thing we forgot, the thing we forgot, we were in full cosplay. Forgot that detail. So we get to London. First ever convention together. I had a jolly good time walking around, seeing all the artists. It was great. And then we Did go- Did leave her there? We left her there. <laughs> she could have got a train back. Yeah. The trains yeah. were cancelled on the way there, but not on the way back. We're gonna go and like, go to a restaurant yeah, or like, somewhere else. We after. don't have custody or ownership over this person. She and did. help. She, she like, bless her. She's lovely. She was a little bit third wheeling on that. So we went, we're gonna go this way, and you're gonna go this way, and we'll catch you later. So that's the story of how we picked up some <laughs> random stranger, took them to a convention, and then left them in London. Bye bye. Bye bye. This is a story, a very, very, very short story, <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you anyways. This is a story about us first meeting our best friend, Joey. Here's Joey. Joey, I'm gonna insert Joey here. <laughs> MCM November 2021, when we went for one day and it was a whole like high Q meet thing. What are you doing? Oh, 
Okay. I was Tendo, Ren was Bokuto, and Joe was Goshki. We get there and see this Goshki cosplayer sprawled out by this enormous unicorn. Blessed be thy Joey, that has stuck in my brain ever since. We'd spoken to a few of our cosplay friends who were like, we, we should do a group cosplay, we should coordinate. We decided on Haikyuu. It started off as like maybe four of us wanted to do this. <laughs> um, the idea of a Haikyuu meet expanded quite quickly. Suddenly, it seemed like every single Haikyuu cosplayer in the UK congregated at MCM we Birmingham. Had an entire cast. Barely anyone actually really knew each other, but we ended up having a huge volleyball match outside. I felt bad for like every other person there. Regular people at this convention wanted to enjoy their time, and everywhere they looked, it looked like it was a kids' sports day. It was just everyone running around, but like kids' sports days where the kids are all wearing insanely saturated wigs with the, like got to be sticking out everywhere, and if you touch it, you'll probably bleed because it's so hard from the got to be. We're back to MCM London in May. This one's a tough one. Friday was fine. Saturday was an intense day. It was lovely, enjoyable, just chaotic in a sense. Not once did my ADHD all day let me remove a harmonica from my lips. It's going for it, annoying everyone loud a lot. Took a toll on me physically, which I didn't end up realizing until the night time where I ended up getting rushed to hospital as my body Loki gave up and decided to I think me. it was the harmonica ring. It was the harmonica ring. I harmonicaed so hard, I got <laughs> hospitalized. <laughs> True, real, no clickbait. Spent the night in hospital, got out, had about an hour's sleep, got into no way cosplay, if you can call it that. It was <laughs> half-assed, makeup crusty, got to the con, stayed there about a couple hours, struggling, falling, no, he was dying. Did you have a creative class that weekend as well? Yes. <laughs> Our friend Elle was dressed as Itadori one of the days, and they literally, they sent us a message being like, I'm lost, I don't know where you guys are, where are you? I next get a message like half an hour later, finding out that they were lost amongst about 30 odd Jinx cosplayers outside. So the only like picture I then got was Itadori Jinx. It's not a story that happened to us, but it's a story I feel needs to be told to the world and to you watching. Please know there was a moment in time that existed of Itadori surrounded by about 30 Jinx cosplayers in London at Comic Con. Do you ever stop to think? Itadori. What have you done to help Itadori today? Donate to this number on yeah. the screen to give five pounds to your local Itadori. Oh, you really know how to move. You really know how to move. October, MCM London. Break that wall open. <laughs> Can I get you anything? A gun. So my conventions went from walking around Artist Alley all day to watching my friends dance for about five hours a day. Daytime, boogie boogie. Chill times, lovely times. Nighttime. We discovered after parties at MCM London, uh, held at the Fox XL. We decided to do a Death Note group for uh, the first night of the, the, the after parties. I just want to say, that was my favourite night of my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Not the night that we no, fell in love. Nothing else comes close. I wanna know what happened. We danced. I will insert the clip. With the fucking incredible hope. <laughs> We had like a group hug. I'm sorry, but like we had the best experience anyone can ever have in their life. Yeah, and then oh. and then the night after, on the Sunday, I was in Masato cosplay. You were in Gojo cosplay. Now, 
Here's the thing about conventions and going as a couple and choosing who to cosplay. There's two routes that you can take. One, you coordinate your cosplays and it's great, you do a ship that's, you know, well known, loved and respected and you go around holding hands and skipping and kissing. The second route that you can take is you choose your own characters, you choose your own destiny separate to one another and you have to deal with the repercussions of being in the back of a bar making out as Misato and Gojo. Think ahead for when you're drunk in cosplays with your partner that when the cosplays don't match and you're more than likely kissing just think what they might be thinking and think how embarrassed you'll feel the day after. The next convention we go to was MCM Birmingham and on the Friday Joey and I collaborated and decided to do the dance training versions of Shinji and Asuka. Uh, I was Shinji, which is cosplay I vowed to never do because I'm not a Shinji, you're a Shinji, but you're a Shinji. But you're Shinji and I'm Kaoru. And Moon was Misato, such a slay type. This guy was we, we were forbidden from kissing. We had to social distance the entire time as holding hands with Kaneki. You could hold your hand. Holding hands with Kaneki and Shinji sets off some people's radars as a bit bizarre. On the topic of conversation in which I cosplayed Kaneki at convention, the iconic pose Kaneki does when he bends his back and cracks his nose. Is my own. Welcome. I have been waiting to do that at a convention in Kanaki cosplay for years. I thought I had it cracked. I'm gonna learn from the experience of posing that if I want to do that, I need to stand next to people in a photo, not in front. This Saturday of the same convention was when we debuted one of our most proud creations. The Saturday. <laughs> One of the creations we're most proud of. The Saturday of the same com- The sa- A cosplay that we are the most proud of. Cinderecki. Uh, we'd spent a good month or two, like, making these outfits. We were super excited to take it to con, and it went great, to be honest. It was a wonderful day. We spoke to so many people. Um, incredibly grateful that people recognised who we were as well, obviously, with it being a kind of niche um, AU of it. I think that was my favourite day at a convention ever. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It was great. Magical. Um, magical. What wasn't magical was the weight of the dress <laughs> I was wearing <laughs> and the sheer volume it took up. I I couldn't get close to you to hug no, you. No, a lot of people who cosplay ball, with ball gowns, who, who have ball gowns as part of their outfits, have a hoop skirt. I did not have a hoop skirt. I had about 40 layers of tulle. We had no hoop skirts. No hoop skirts. We had no hoop skirts. The entire volume of the dress was layers um, because it was a repurposed wedding dress. <laughs> you did so well. Don't get lost when you're dressed as a random ass prince no one knows at a convention either because when I'm on the phone with barely any service surrounded by cosplayers and I'm seeing mutuals who I've never spoken before and I literally look like this standing emoji and I'm just like, where are you? Help, find me. Scurvy. Stay with the offerings. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. Thank you. It's been hard to pick out the memories that we wanted to talk about in this video because every single moment from conventions is something that we remember and hold yeah. dear. It was tricky to pick up. We just wanted to like talk about a few random ones. Hopefully they will We'll probably make a part two at some point. Oh definitely. <laughs> That's all we got for today. Thank you so much for watching and listening to us ramble and have tea next week. Oh, wait, Paul needs to say bye bye. Whoa, let's get the feelings. Bow 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 bow. Let me get my heart in. Yeah. <laughs> Bye-bye.